Hey, the honeymoon is over, by the way, for the Deshaun Watson reaction across the league Dude, where it was all football. Uh, Molly Karam of ESPN said it's a slap in the face to all women that he got that much money, guaranteed. Um, now you've got a lot of people pointing to the part of the athletic story that details the Browns talked to Deshaun Watson for all of 30 minutes about the accusations. No, but Stefanski took notes. In their meeting, and the fact that they talked to three women, all female defense attorneys for Deshaun Watson, and no one else about the case. Point being, the news cycle is now done on the football side of it, and now that we're done talking about that, the media has moved on to complaining about Deshaun Watson having a job and having this much money and complaining about the Browns being a part of this uh, with all the accusations. It, it was, you knew it was going to happen. This was the logical next step of where the media was going to go. It's starting, is my point. Look at any Twitter feed right now, and you're going to see columns being written about how shameful it is of the Browns to make this move. It's weird, though, Chad, that it's gone backwards. That it was a football reaction first, and now it's a social issue, uh, uh, criminal or civil But you know why it was reaction. football first? Because we can't remember anything past 24 hours. Because in a, 20, in a 24-hour cycle, we were shocked when there were no charges from the grand jury, right? Yeah. Well, and we, uh, we were sitting there saying, all this, well, I guess now it's fair, fair game. game. People are going to go and after it with no criminal charges. And then shortly did. after that, the trade happened. So, oh, wow, it's... You're stunned by that. Now let's talk about the Browns and the AFC and, and Watson and what that means. And then it's like, oh, and yeah. Then, oh, and that's right. There's still other accusers that have not been heard. There's all these civil suits. this guy's a creep. And now it's going to be months of this type of coverage. We're starting in what's going to be months of negative Deshaun Watson, Browns coverage. Uh, what's the over-under for when he talks, when they present him? Because they can only hide him for so long. Uh, it's a great question. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I would think that they would he would read a statement or something, but I, I don't know. Stefanski's talking Monday. Also, but let's also say this about the media that's now going to jump on this. The media coverage of this entire story has been horrendous. It's been awful. Great. Awful. All, all we've done is regurgitate whatever is tweeted out that day uh, from the attorneys. That's it. There's been no digging. Well, Jenny For, for all of us harping on the NFL not doing an investigation – where is the investigative reporting behind this story? Jenny. Where is the 60 minutes version of what happened here? Where is the person that's digging up the dirt that can go behind the scenes and actually get facts over allegations? Those Jen people don't exist anymore. Jenny they're they're not paid to do credit. their jobs anymore. They're fired by ESPN. And meanwhile, they have Molly Quarum who's giving opinion instead of digging up anything. That's what ESPN wants. They want to stir the pot rather than dig With up the, the news. I, I will give credit to Jenny Vrentis, who has gone from Sports Illustrated to the New York Times now. But at Sports Illustrated, she got one of these victims to talk she to her. She spoke to the victim. She, yeah, she the did get some information that was new. But then the rest of the reporters all reacted to her information. Yeah, and, and, and you're and right. I, solo, I'm shocked we solo didn't solo see act. a bunch of pieces where multiple outlets spoke to two or three, four of the accusers and got them on the record and talked about I mean, exactly the, the what, I, Chad, what the details about, were. The idea that a police, that the police have not turned over information, when has that stopped any news outlet from gaining and obtaining information off the record? Never. Very rarely. Very rarely. No one's trying. It's a very lazy NFL media right now. And that's just a fact. Yeah, it's... You're... I am not arguing with you on that. And the locals I think it's down a lot there, of, I think, failed. It's a lot of reaction to reaction to something. And then that becomes well, a story. But let me and also just say, waiting, uh, waiting I'm not, back on. I'm not attacking the individual reporters here. The reporters aren't paid to report anymore. They're paid to look at a cell phone Upon. and copy and paste whatever the agent sends them and then tweet it out. That's what they're paid to do. They're paid per follower, not per report. There was an unbelievable that, That's example. what we've come to. And ESPN is the main problem for this yeah. because they, they want more FaceTime and headlines and salacious content then they want hard news and actual facts behind the basis of what they're talking about. There was a great example, I should have bookmarked it this week, of Schefter and Rappaport tweeting virtually, you know, it's one of those tweets about a contract, but then like some other detail about, you know, the player, and it was verbatim, the same thing, like a cut and paste from the agent. Yeah. But I mean, the, 
we just we we hear oh the the attorneys aren't speaking that we haven't heard from them in three months we, again like stop there when would that stop anyone 10 years ago from continuing down a path of looking up information the it, outside the line just guys. because just because Where's the, the pete thamel of the nfl in other words, you know, the guy who always broke the NCAA investigations those and guys, didn't get it from the NCAA. Those guys are clinging on to a job at The Athletic right now. Yeah. I mean, the, the, they're not wanted by ESPN. That's a great point. They were that, laid off. That outside the lines missing element they were laid of ESPN off. Is, is a rough one, for sure. And it's not just ESPN. I mean, keep in mind, the NFL, the, I always have to remind myself of this. The NFL has partnerships with literally every major network. Every one of them. And therefore, they control them. More, more than ever before, they control those networks. And they can, cut, they can turn on the valve and turn off the valve quickly. And they've done a masterful job of legitimizing the NFL network. Like, so, pe- people turn on the NFL network and watch it like it's well, legitimate but, reporting TV. But you, here's you, why. Remember how they covered the Washington no, Commanders case? But here's why. Here's, here's how they've done that. They have turned the other networks into NFL Network. Yeah, they haven't. They haven't supplemented NFL Network into some news outlet. They've turned NFL Network. The, the NFL Network's the same. They've turned the other networks into NFL Network. That's a great Pretty point. That, that's a great point. They are the publicity arm, one of the many of the NFL. And, and, I, and, I, and I, I, I say think, all this saying I, I I do where there's smoke there's fire with the, with Deshaun Watson. I'm not saying that there's nothing there. There's definitely something there. And we're probably never going to know it. But the fact that we, we spent all fall discussing what the punishment was going to be and, okay, we, the depositions are happening in February, and we get to a point where it gets in front of a grand jury nine months later, and they say, you know what? There's not enough information here where we can, we can indict Deshaun Watson. Think about that. But yet we spent time acting as though this was a done set case, done deal, and the NFL should have acted in September. All we did was sit around and just discuss a bunch of rumor and innuendo that weren't really factual at all. In fact, I, I don't know what's fact or fiction based on the reports that are out there and the allegations are out there. If the, the allegations that, that Chad detailed thoroughly on a show, what, September, October, if all that's ago. true, how do you not move forward criminally with that? 